we have to be able to do. You got to stay out of negative plays against this football team because their um, their makeup is completely different on third down than it is on first and second down. You can't let them get into third and nines and third and elevens because then they're going to heat you up. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. You talked about last week and just generally kind of in the offseason about how you felt like this was a confident team. Does what happened last week affect that at all? Well, I, I think it has to affect it a little bit if we're being completely honest. But we need to come out um, and, and really establish ourselves early in the game and start go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And uh, one of the, the keys to this victory is to be able to match their intensity level from the get-go. What did you think of your team's intensity level last week? I thought it was good. I really did. I think. When you, when you don't execute as well as you like to or should at certain times, and sometimes you, you're a little off kilter, but I thought our intensity level or when we started the game, even throughout the rest of the game, if you watch the film, you never see a drop of intensity, um, but you're always fighting uphill those 21 points down or 14 points down, and that's hard for a team trying to get a little bit better. After the game, I had asked you about, you know, making progression from week one to week two, and you said there were, I'm sure there were some areas, so you've since watched the film then. Where did you see those those strides being made? Well, I think offensively, you know, <clears throat> we're blocking well up front. I think we're protecting the quarterback well, and uh, you, if we can continue to do that and get Danny in the rhythm or, or Austin in the rhythm, I think that's going to, you know, bode well down in the future. We've got to play better on the outside. I think we have to be able to take pressure off the tight ends and the backs by being able to uncover our receivers outside. Mm -hmm. Defensively, they're still running to the ball, and that's what you're looking for. And uh, a lot of good things are happening. I think Frankie's a key player for us because you're looking for guys in your program that can make critical plays, and he's one of those guys that has st stood out the first couple weeks to be able to do that. What is the plan then for Frankie and Taylor Richards this week? Yeah, you're going to see them on the field together at, at times. You're going to see him, Landon, and Frankie. Frankie, Landon, and uh, Taylor on the field at the same time quite a bit this week. Is So is Frankie then the nickel in that situation? He or is Landon? Yeah. Okay. Frankie would Because I know Landon played some nickel last year, so I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. um, what, what does Taylor Richards bring? Well, I think he's got tremendous energy. That's the first thing he brings. And he's got some a lot of field experience. Yeah. He's a physical guy. Um, we just found out this, this morning that Austin uh, Logan is questionable for this game. I uh, took a couple shots to the head on Saturday. So, uh, but Taylor brings a lot of uh, experience in the field. Certainly this was going to be a challenge for your secondary. It would seem to be a challenge for your secondary this week with Golson. Uh, how, how do you think that, that that unit has played the first two weeks and what are the challenges for them this week? Well, I think what's got to help the secondary is our front line. And I just had Ryan Russell in my office right before I came over here. And I said, what do we need to do to get you guys to be more productive? And we talked through a bunch of things. But I think that front line's got to be able to take the pressure off the back end. The one thing about this football team that we're playing on Saturday is you better stay in coverage because he makes a lot of things happen by holding on to the football. And you saw it two weeks ago, you saw it last week, the play right before half where he hit a guy 65 yards was because he extended the play, the defenders relaxed in the back end, and he hits a strike for a touchdown right before the half. What is the uniform helmet combination going to be this week? Black, white, white. Just to start off, why was your team able to kind of play one of its best games of the year last year? against Notre Dame. I, you know, sometimes you hear people talk about there are certain games guys get up for more than others. Was, was that part of it? Well, I, you, probably so, but you hope that's not the case. You hope that each week that you perform at the highest level you're capable of performing. I know our guys will be fired up. This one's been going on for 95 years. Uh, it's getting ready to go away. I'm sure our guys will be fired up about this game plan and a great venue down in uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. So all those things will add to uh, the energy level that uh, will be in the stadium on Saturday night. You've watched two full games of Tate now on Everett Golson. What's kind of really stood out about him? How well he throws the football. I mean, he really stands in there. He's seeing the field. It comes out with great velocity. And he's very accurate with the football. They have a new coordinator on defense. What's what has changed for them from the defense you saw last year to the defense you've seen through two games this year? Well, I think the biggest thing 
that he does, and he's been all over the, he's been with the Jets, and he's been with Auburn, and he's been with a couple other places uh, um, with Coach Kelly. But I think what he does is he likes to put pressure on the offense by showing you a million different looks on third down. I mean, he's going to he's going to run the safety out that's a deep third player from the line of scrimmage, very much like the Steelers did with Palomar. Um, so he's going to give you a lot of different looks, and um, we got to be able to handle those different situations, and stay out of those third and longs because that's when uh, they come after you. Uh, from an offensive perspective, they have a lot of guys that use both the receiver and in the backfield. Is, is it hard to plan for an offense where you don't know that there's that one guy they're really going to they're really going to emphasize? Well, I think it's very similar to us in terms of being able to get the team in and out of the backfield. Very similar that way. Uh, but I think structurally, what we have to do is just um, without giving anything away, we have to be able to play our positions. And, and the big key word for Sunday and today and the rest is do your job and your job is this there is no gray area and as long as you do your job you'll be okay just um you had mentioned before you, you seem pretty satisfied the way the offensive line's been blocking this is this is a pretty big challenge for them the Sheldon day and whatnot I mean just uh I guess this is a really good uh, defensive line they're going to be going against. How, how big of a concern is that? He's special. He's a really, really good player. What makes him special is he stays on his feet. He's powerful. Uh, he runs down the line of scrimmage. Um, so I mean, you're going to have to do your things. We've got a couple things planned for him. Um, but uh, he's a really good player. We're not getting blocked. Um, first, how are you addressing problems with the defensive line? Uh, we talked, like I talked uh, to Ryan coming over here, I, I wanted to know what the issues that he thought. And a lot of times, you might think it's the defensive line, it may not be. Uh, it could be a linebacker missing a hit, missing a gap. Um, but we got to get more productivity out of those guys, for sure. Um, what problems does Notre Dame present that your other two opponents didn't? Well, obviously, they're a lot, they're a lot more athletic. Um, they're, they're faster. The quarterback is a, an unbelievable player, and he'll be able to create some things on his own. We have to do a good job of containing him and uh, trying to get to him as quickly as we can. Okay. And how important is this game for the program moving forward? Oh, it's huge. It's a huge game for us. Um, and we have to make significant strides on Saturday night. This is a quarterback. Would you even consider playing two quarterbacks in the same game? Um, no. <clears throat> Why not? I just don't think it's the best for our football team right now. Uh, back to the, the secondary, uh, the fact that you would move Frankie to the nickel, mm -hmm. is that an indication you're pleased with what the corners are doing right now? Yes. Uh, our corners have done a good job. Obviously, like I said earlier, that everybody needs to do better, but they're doing a nice job back there. Uh, I have no issues with our, our corner play in the first two games.